update. Baby beta fries, growing strong. Few have died, but growing strong. Hello YouTube, how's it going? Randy here on the channel, uh, Just Be You. And it's been about a week, okay? And I haven't posted anything because I wanted to give time for uh, my baby fries, uh, beta fries to grow and to kind of like show something, you know, something a little different. And there was, and that is a bunch died. And so this past week, in the beginning of this week, I was like, I couldn't sleep at all because I was so worried about like my baby fries dying. And I was like, I don't know what to do. And then when I started seeing some dead bodies, I was like, oh my gosh, started cleaning them out. I'm like, that was like 15 of them the first, first time. I was like, what the heck is going on, you know? And so I was kind of like digging around here and I'm like, I don't know what's, why they're dying. I kept feeding them stuff, you know, the egg yolk. And I did throw some brine shrimp in there and I'm like, they're not chasing out there. They're not doing anything. And so, um, I then, uh, decided, is it the heater? The heat is the heater killing them because there was a bunch of them that died under the heater. And then I cleaned it up. And then the next day there was a few more dead ones under the heater. So I thought it was the heater. So I moved the heater out. And I only stuck like half of it in the water because the water is pretty low. As you can see, the water's kind of low now. And so I stuck the heater kind of like this and I left it, uh, a bottom of it down there so it could still heat it up. And then the next day I checked and I'm like, more are dead. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And then I realized there must be something else. And I stuck my finger in the water and the water was not warm. It was cold. It was like... 60 degrees in there and i'm like oh heck no these fishes are gonna die you know so i threw my thought put the thermometer in there and sure enough it was 60 degrees and then i took my other heater uh, from the other tank over here and my my um grow out tank and i threw it over here and i turned that sucker up you know i turned that sucker up to like 85 degrees and it, it lit up like it warmed up super quick and and now uh we're sitting at around 75 75 degrees because I turned up to 85 and as soon as the water started to heat up I turned it back down But thank goodness I got the water heated up and now the the betas um, The baby fries haven't died since then so that was like maybe th Wednesday Thursday ish there that that's when I made that change and so um, That's good news and so if you and maybe you can see if you can't or not, but they're they're there you know what I mean? Let me move this light out of the way. Cha -cha. So there, they have a few that are floating on the top there. And there's a few that are floating on the top over here. And I threw some brine shrimp there yesterday and they were chasing them, which is great. You know, they're chasing them. They're actually eating them. So I'm actually really grateful for that. And so there's a little bit of hope left, you know, a lot of hope now, now that I see that they're moving around because before when it was like 60 degrees, they were not moving. They were like preserving their energy. And so I am happy to see that they're going. Just kind of one of the uh, novice mistakes that you make as a, as a hobbyist in trying to raise betas or raise any kind of fish. And so, um, yeah, I'm a little relieved, relieved now that uh, I understand what's going on. And so I, I've been feeding them brine shrimp and egg yolk uh, three times a day just making sure they get their food and so I'm just hoping that they can get a little bigger so that um uh, they their survival rate goes up as they are growing so that is kind of like the update and yeah I did move all these other my other betas I moved them upstairs uh, because of the temperature down here in the basement it's always so cold down here and like Minnesota we're still in we're exiting out of winter, but not really, because we can't really, you know, you can't really uh, predict what will come in March. It might be really warm days. It might just be another snow day. Who knows? And so that's what's kind of like causing me why, uh, causing me to buy all these, um, you know, heaters to heat the tanks. And hopefully um, when the summer comes around, I wouldn't have to anymore. And that's why a lot of these betas are dying, because, uh, you know, most of those beta videos I see online, they're like, in tropical areas, warm areas. They're raising their betas outside, you know what I mean? And so uh, I don't have that luxury. And so you really have to pay attention to the temperature. 
Yeah, because it with the warmer temperature, it moves their metabolism and it makes them want to eat. If not, they sit still and they don't want to eat. They just kind of just sit there, you know, and then they eventually die. So good, good. They're going, they're good. Um, you know, I'll probably wait until another week before I post another video just so that you guys can see uh, progress in them. Right now, they're just still small fries. They're just swimming about and they're starting to eat. Well, you know. And so what, how interesting would it be to just see them another three days from now? Right, so that is the uh, highlight. That is the update of the beta fries. They're still about, just kind of counting from what I can see, there's definitely more than 25 left are still in there. And it's still a good amount, even though like 15 died, you know, during this week because uh, of, the, of my mistake of the temperature. But there's still about 25 minimum on there. And man, maybe I can get them to be two weeks. Come on, let's go. So join this journey with me and see if um, I can get them to two weeks and eventually a month in which they'll actually be a little more defined, okay, as, as a beta fish. So hope you guys enjoyed that update. Cheer me on as I continue this journey of trying to raise these betas. And um, who knows, you know, we'll see how they go at the end. I might be giving some away, all right? And so, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. So until then, have a good weekend. Stay cool and just be you. See ya.